Keith's Fantasy Club Iron Paw and Rhino Horn come with everything you see here, each sold separately. Hey, what's up my fellow Transformers fans? It's Mike here again with another episode of MP Squared Reviews. And today we're taking a look at uh, the third party cassette bots from KFC, uh, Keith's Fantasy Club. Uh, their new releases of uh, Iron Paw, AKA Steel Jaw, and Rhino Horn, AKA Ram Horn. Now these are Autobot cassettes, and uh, <laughs> I hope they go with KFC's Transistor, their version of Blaster. So as you can see here, you know, they look pretty good. Um, one uh, criticism I've heard for uh, Ramhorn is that Ramhorn has these rivets all over that, you know, they show up quite, uh, uh, quite a lot because they are silver and he is a reddish brown. Um, so I saw somebody on Instagram, uh, and they said that they used a Gundam marker, a particular uh, Gundam marker to cover those up and it looked pretty good. Um, so if you're not liking seeing all these silver rivets, then perhaps you will want to touch them up with some paint. Um, these guys, I think, look pretty good. Um, they feel pretty solid. They're not heavy, but they uh, actually are not too loose. And they look good for the size that they are, I think, you know? And especially for the fact that these weapons aren't even uh, things you have to snap on. This is an all-included uh, transformation. So um, that's uh, pretty darn cool. Uh, now he does have a gap between his neck and his body, but if you're looking at it from an angle, uh, you don't really notice that. Um, so does he really pull off the whole animal thing with a, an actual neck that's connecting to the body? Not really. Um, also, there is this supposed magnet inside. I think it's supposed to be a magnet. Uh, over here that's supposed to uh, be attracted to this other magnet or piece of steel over there that small little silver button and I don't feel an attraction in the head that actually snaps that together well so um, whether that's really working or not I, I, I'm dubious um, but cool little guy and I am going to be getting MMC's cassette bots um, once they come out with them, they already have their steel jaw, um, tempo. You can get that now. And those of course are not actual masterpiece size. They're larger, but for the fact that they're going to be so much more poseable and, uh, have, uh, be able to have so much more detail just because of their size. Uh, I don't mind that in my cassette bots. Um, I would rather have the detail and, um, they don't look too big in comparison to all the other masterpieces. At least uh, the Rumble and Frenzy that they made don't look too big. So uh, I'm betting on MMC for my actual action display oriented um, bots to be my real representation of these characters. But having them so that they can actually go with Transistor um, is cool. So same thing here with Steeljaw as far as it's an all-in-one transformation. So it carries the weapons included, you know, even in its cassette form. Uh, that is, whoa. <laughs> um, kudos to KFC for doing that because that is a really cool thing. You don't have to worry about losing parts. And they're also done, both, you know, sets of weapons are done in this gold uh, finish, which looks nice. Now, this guy also has a split head because uh, he is put in halves in order to make the cassette mode. Um, and... I also saw, I think it was on Instagram, somebody that I follow, or just a post I saw, um, was having trouble with the fact that it has a seam down the middle of his face. Now, yes, it does not seem to always want to piece together um, as well, one time versus another, um, but I don't mind it too much. Mine, mine pieces together pretty well, but you can see the fact that it does have that seam right down the middle. Another thing that I uh, don't care about this guy too much for is the fact that his chest, it doesn't really tab in. So as you can see, it just, just kind of loose. So that's kind of a bummer because I'd really rather it snap. Um, but it does allow for this kind of twisting. So that could be good for posing. And if you're like me and you had the impression that Steeljaw was supposed to have his weapons further back, like on his 
haunches here. Um, I actually checked some reference images on tfwiki.net, and um, he does not. Those things are on his sides. The barrels of the guns do come up next to his mane. So it is accurate. All right, now as far as what's inside the package, let's just go ahead and take a look at one of these boxes. Uh, you've got some nice art here on the front. It's okay, you know, nothing super spectacular. Um, I wish KFC would put their logo right on the front. That'd be kind of nice. But maybe they're trying to make this seem like an actual cassette tape, which this is roughly the size of a cassette tape, uh, just a little bit thicker than a cassette tape back in the day. We've got KFC there, CST15, the logo. I've opened that. Oh yeah, each bot comes with one of these QC Pass stickers, which I don't like. They're biting that off of fans' toys. I'm like, just do your own thing, KFC. Um, and stop trying to pretend that you are fans' toys because you're not. Uh, and I don't care about that because uh, KFC does its own thing, and I think it should continue to do that. So inside the case here, we've got a collector's card. And it is a nice, thick collector's card. It's a, a nice thick plastic. Some good print and color. And we've got the cassette tape shell for the cassette mode. And this is a, actually it's a more rigid plastic than I was expecting. I thought maybe this would be a little flimsy, but this is actually a nice thickness and uh, a nice um, nice uh, sturdiness to it. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So there you go, you have that mini cassette box. You've got the collector's card. And then also in the box is this one sheet instructions on transformation. There you go. So ditto with Ram Horn, I'm not gonna pull that out, but let me show you the cassette mode of both real quick. And just a note on this as I was transforming it, one thing that I don't like about the uh, design of this is that the tail comes from the back of the bot, so it has to flip open. And as you might be able to tell, it's, it's kind of floppy. Um, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hang down, it sticks out because it's supposed to be coming down his leg, I guess, or you know, down his back. Um, but it really flips back up to become part of that corner. And it is loose. Um, so that design aspect, I don't really care for it, but overall, you know, good job, KFC. Thank you and kudos. Please bring us more good stuff like this. All right, so I think I see that this screw is loose for the tail. So maybe that's why the tail was seeming so floppy. Um, I'm going to see if I can't screw that in. But as you can see, there's a little gap there and looks like maybe I can tighten up that screw. All right, indeed, that was loose and uh, now I have that screw tightened and hopefully that'll help it the next time I turn him back into his uh, feline mode. So there you go. You might need to tighten a screw. And they both pack up quite nicely as cassettes. Um, I like Iron Paws uh, cassette holes better because you can actually see the teeth, uh, whereas Ram Horns, uh, excuse me, Rhino Horns, uh, aka Ram Horns, are molded in there because um, I guess it needs more of that uh, surface area for the bot mode. But as you can see, they both pull off the cassette mode uh, really nicely. The thing is, they don't come with any decals, so maybe uh, Toy Hacks will come out with some uh, decals for them to make them a little bit more like cassettes. But that's what you get out of the box. Now, the other sides, um, a lot more PC. Um, I thought I liked Iron Paws more than Rhino Horns, but um, looking at them here together, they're both pretty PC looking. So um, it really only pulls it off from one side but that's all you really need, right? So let's go ahead and see one of these in the cassette case. Yoink! All right, so there you go. Pulls off the tape in a case look pretty well from this side. Actually, either side, as long as the cassette face is facing that side. Um, pretty snug in there, you know, you can hear that. It's a little loose, but it's not rattling too badly. Um, 
One thing that would have been nice, perhaps, is if this had had a printed label as if it were an actual cassette um, or a sticker or some kind of insert uh, just to cover up the pieciness of this side so that when you did put it in the case, it could really look like a um, an actual cassette. But, you know, hey, that's what we got. And it's not bad. It's actually good. <laughs> Let me not be so negative. It's actually good. All right, so the only remaining question that I have is, do these little guys fit inside of KFC's transistor? I bought this guy a while ago, and um, he's been sitting in my display case being very cool. I still really like him. Um, I don't need to get another blaster from uh, Deformation Space or Fans Toys. Um, yeah, I, I think the thing I like the most about either of those two is their feet compared to the feet on this guy. But when I just look at this guy by himself, I have no problem with it. This guy looks amazing. Um, so that being said, let's check this out. Now, I was surprised to find that I had actually left some tapes in this guy. Can I get this to, to where's the, uh, there's the eject button. Okay. The eject lever is here. <laughs> okay. That worked better than in rehearsal. Um, we've got, uh, I think both of these guys might have, ah, I forget now, if one of them came with it or both of them came with it. Uh, but at least one of these guys came with transistor. And um, as you can see, I don't know which one this is, rewind or eject, but um, it's got a nice printed uh, paint job on it to make it look like a tape. This is the previous version of Steel Jaw, and um, it does not have any paint on it except for right there. It's supposed to be those tape reels right here. So that's a cool little detail. And uh, let's get this guy transformed and just see what he looks like compared to the other steel jaw, the new one. I suppose that uh, if this had the same number, that this should actually be a V2, but maybe it's not the same uh, model number. Maybe that's why they didn't do a V2, but um, uh, why not, KFC? Why not just call this a version 2.0? And just as a comparison, here are both steel jaws from KFC, the original one and the newly released one. And this one looks good on both sides, but uh, this one <laughs> really reveals its innards on that side and looks good from this side. So uh, there you go, that's them in their cassette forms. So here are the original Justice Iron Paw, I guess it was called, uh, CST02. Um, so, <laughs> all right. And he just lost one of his guns because it does not peg in uh, tightly there on the shoulder. But um, that's what he looked like, or he does look like. And um, I think I'll put him down over here. And this isn't my photo. The new Iron Paw, CST-15. And um, yeah, this is a great improvement. I mean, the little guy on the right isn't, isn't horrible. But um, my first impressions of him in hand versus... The old version is that he's definitely a better version of uh, Steel Jaw from KFC. Let's just put this little thing back on here. Find the peg hole. Easy for me to do, huh? And uh, yeah, these little guns are really loose in there. If I were to worry about this, I would want to put some Kiki um, or something in there to keep those barrels from flopping because they are really easy to move. So there you are. As for the two tapes in question right now, let's see if they fit. All right, here we go. Let's load blaster up. Steel jaw fits and ram horn. Ramhorn fits as well. Okay, uh, we have enough room for a third tape, so let's put in whoever this is, rewind or eject. Um, now, three tapes will fit in here. Unfortunately, four tapes don't. But load the nut into the front of the door there, and 
Now let's see about ejecting them. If we eject, there's the button. Okay, see, unfortunately the mechanism isn't sophisticated enough to do the door opening and the ejection of the tapes at the same time. So we're gonna have to do one at a time. So let me go ahead and open this and reset these guys. Let me reload the spring, put the front guy back in, close that up. Now, let's get a, an ejection. So there you go, We've got a tape showing. Let's hit that button. Oh man, in the back it's hard to feel that, that uh, button. Okay, there you go. My finger was in the way, so it, it uh, cushioned the flip out a little bit. But let's see again if my finger is not in the way. And eject the tapes. Lever is hard to find. There we go. So the spring is uh, strong enough that, you know, it's actually going to fling a tape out at you if that door isn't held shut. So, um, I mean, that's kind of fun that it's just that powerful. But you only get to hold three tapes. But these are indeed cassettes that fit inside Transistor. Okay, well, that's it for this episode of uh, MP Squared Reviews. This was our look at Keith's Fantasy Club, Iron Paw, and Rhino Horn, uh, their versions of Steel Jaw and Ram Horn, uh, the cassette bots for Blaster. Now, they do fit inside uh, KFC's Transistor, so you can be assured that if you do pick these up, that you do have a boom box that can hold them if you have transistor. Other than that, we did see that uh, this version of Iron Paw is indeed an improvement over KFC's uh, first version, uh, their Justice Iron Paw CST2, uh, whereas this is CST15. Uh, I can recommend both of these as uh, cool little cassette bots. There's not a whole lot of articulation to them as far as their heads are concerned, um, but you know, if you're just looking for something to stand there and be the character, then you've got these. I am looking forward to MMC's version. I can't wait to get my copy of Tempo, uh, their version of Steeljaw, and uh, I'm eagerly awaiting them to actually put up pre-orders for Ramhorn and Rewind and Eject. So uh, hopefully that's coming up soon. If you have any information about that, please share it in the comments below. Other than that, if you've watched this channel and you like these videos, please uh, leave a like. Uh, join the conversation in the comments below and for heck hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that you get notified anytime a new video drops here on the MP Reviews channel. I'm your host and fellow collector Mike and until next time happy collecting everybody.